Hello, it's Mr. Baumgarten back with the next of our series of videos. All right, if I take what we've been working from, so I've just copy and pasted the starting few lines from our last one. I've got a variable called a ridge for original, and I'm loading up the headshot photo that I created before, and I'm just displaying it on screen. Today, we're gonna look at how to convert it into uh, black and white or grayscale images and apply a whole bunch of different filters um, to our images such as blurs and edge enhancers and, and stuff like that. So uh, let's start off with a really easy one shall we. Uh, black and white image. All right, uh, we just take our uh, picture file name so whatever you've called it and uh, we want to com we use the convert command to convert the mode. So instead of being RGB, uh, the simple black and white image is actually mode one, because basically what we're saying is we want to take every pixel and turn it into either a zero for black or one for white. Um, and then we can show that on screen and see what that does. Uh, so that's the first one, and there's the second one. And so you can see black and white so you can zoom all the way in and you can see the individual each individual pixel is either on or it is off there's actually nothing there that's gray they're either white or they're black so perhaps i want to so that showed up I opened up two because i also had a show command here on the original so i'll just comment that one out let's comment this out and show you how to if i wanted to do the grayscale version of that Uh, the mode for that is L. Don't ask me what L stands for. It's just L. <laughs> Maybe someone in the comments can tell us. All right, so that one's grayscale. And if I zoom in on that, we'll actually see. <laughs> Get way too close. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's apply some filters to this, shall we? So I'll comment that one out. Um, all right, let's apply a blur. Uh, this time we use the filter, but we need to actually come up and import, change what we are importing for these tools. We need to import in some uh, the image filters. So <clears throat> from pill import image and then comma image filter. Because I'm now going to uh, so we want to load in all the all the different filters that are available, and we're going to use one of them to do the blurring. Uh, it just so happens to be called, of course, image filter dot blur. Except blur is all in uppercase. Don't again. Don't ask me why. All right. So if I run that, what do we get? All right. You can see there's a little bit of blur there. Uh, but maybe I want to have it even more blurry. Well, there's actually nothing stopping you blurring an already blurred image and saving it over the top of your other image. So let's just take... All right, so I get my blurred image and I'm going to apply the filter bit to it and then save it back to blurred again. And so I could just run this three or four times. It's going to be interesting. Let's see what that does. All right, you get the idea. Um, I could even use this as an excuse to show you what a loop looks like. For I in range, let's, let's run this 20 times. <laughs> All right. So it'll run the indented line 20 times. Oh, there we go. There's a nice blue image for you. All right, uh, what was next after blurring? All right, so what I thought I'd do is I'll let you experiment with these a little bit on your own. Uh, so we've got, in addition to the image blur that I showed you, we've got contour, detail, edge enhance, emboss, sharpen, and smooth. So if I just quickly show you what the contour one looks like, for instance. 
Okay, that's showing you, I guess it's showing you the contours. I don't know, I'm not really artistic enough to know what exactly what the artistic merit of that is. But uh, each of, so each of these will show you different uh, filters, apply different filters to your image. Uh, so have a go, experiment with those and see if there's anything that you think might be useful. Uh, the next part is I'll also show you how to adjust the sharpness and brightness and contrast. Uh, to do this, we are also going to need to import in, come back up to our image import, and we import the image enhance. Actually, let's get this right. I'm wanting to use the image enhance object uh, library, and I'm going to change the brightness of the original. I'm going to enhance it one and a half times. That gives me another image back, so I can just show that on screen. Let's comment out that front now and run that. All right, that's in increased the brightness one and a half times. I can make it two and a half, maybe it'll be really obvious. Yeah, so you can see that that's changing the brightness. We can also reduce it. Uh, so one is your baseline, so that's made it darker by making it less than one. Uh, in addition to the brightness, we can change the contrast. So that will lessen the contrast by making a 0.5, again because one is the baseline. So if I make that 20, <laughs> Two and a half. Okay, you can see the contrast is really enhanced there between the two. Uh, and then sharpness is the other one I will quickly show you. Sharpness. Oh, works the same way. Run that. That doesn't really look any different to me. Uh, uh, and there was another one actually called color to enhance the color. Oh yes, there's a lot of color in that. So I guess if I make the color low, that's gonna trend to look in grayscale. Oh yeah, I'm looking like death warmed up in that one. If I go all the way to zero, is that gonna be fully grayscale? Yes, there you go, there's another way of doing that. All right, so uh, some filters and some enhancers. Uh, this is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.